Dear Media IRL is back, and we're showing up bigger, better, and louder than ever. Join us on May 4th in Austin, Texas, for the ultimate live podcasting experience. Watch and learn from your favorite Dear Media hosts as they bring their insightful discussions from your headphones to the stage. Get ready to be inspired, entertained, and watch audio get a makeover. Tickets are on sale now at dearmedia.com slash IRL. See you on May 4th in Austin, Texas. The following podcast is a Dear Media production. Does anyone actually know what's going on here? I literally have no idea. Help. <laughs> We're, We're 20 whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hello. And welcome back to 20 Whatever, where I almost forgot that I was going to be the one to start it. <laughs> yep. so, but we're here. Yep. It was just like a little pause. It was, it was short. It was yeah. short pause. Yeah. I, I was, was pause. like, oh, I know. I was like, wait, hold on. And then I was like, no, she's the one who wanted this. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, yeah. Was, she like, got this I was like, it. I can do it. And then I was like, loading. <laughs> Dude, my pregnancy brain has been so bad lately. Okay, so explain that. Obviously, like, you might be forgetting some things. Yeah. Is that, like, the majority of what the pregnancy brain is? A hundred percent. Okay. It yeah. is fully just me, like, to the tenth degree, forgetting everything, walking into a room and being like, I don't know why I'm here. And also, what day is it? And also, right. like... Oh. And also, have I eaten? Yeah. What are we doing? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And I don't know if there's science to pregnancy brain, but... I feel it's real. I mean, you're growing a human inside <laughs> yeah. of you. There's got to be some sort of delay. And right, right. You know, right. I think all of my brain power is going to her. Yeah. And there's very little left up here. Yeah. There's not a lot going on up no, there. No, there's not. There's not. <laughs> so apparently during pregnancy, the body sends a flood of fluctuating hormones through the body at all times. And apparently those physiological changes is what causes the memory problems, concentration, or absent-mindedness. So there is like a, oh, a thing happening. You're right. Wow. So science. Wow. I am hormonally stupid. It's ah, not just yes. in my head. <laughs> those damn hormones always getting us. <laughs> Anyways, how are y'all? I'm oh, good. I'm good. good. I'm really excited for this episode. I feel like I'm going to laugh a lot. Yes. Yeah. I'm very excited for this one. And we love, I mean, we love a pop culture moment. We love a pop culture we, moment. We love pop cultural references. Pop cultural references. TikTok references. Honestly, quoting anything is our sh- sh- shit. Totally. Right. Totally. <laughs> when I say I'm like cultured, I mean pop culture. Mm. Right, right. I'm talking about um, TikTok. Yes. <laughs> I may not be able to recite poetry, but I do know a plethora of Wendy Williams quotes. Right. So. Agreed. <laughs> That's all you need. That is all you need. I'm very excited. How are we doing this? So we all wrote down some of the pop culture moments that just live rent free in our brain. We want to kind of talk through them. And then I think at the end of this, Jess has a, a little game mm-hmm. that she's created. Mm-hmm. I love this. I'm so excited. I'm actually really excited to hear which ones you guys picked. I, I do too, because we are always like individually quoting our faves, you know, yes, and then like yes. together we have our, together we can. That's one of our faves. Shoot collective. the moon, stop, stop the, the rain, rain. Even, even right out of hurricane. hurricane. Right. But if now, we <laughs> <laughs> we but now we're like really bringing like show and tell like, okay guys, these are like my right. really favorite ones. This is a, this is like those videos that are like, let me show you my favorite TikToks. Yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah. Me at the you know end I mean? of the day with my boyfriend. Yeah. So do you want to see all the TikToks I saved for you? <laughs> Dude, that's like, honestly, a couple episodes back when we were talking about like not having time as a couple, you know, having young kids. Oh, that is like a, a bit. No, well, that is like the thing that we still do oh, at the end of the day, day. Like laying in bed. We're so tired. Like, can I show you some funny TikToks? Yeah. Right. And we have our ticky talky time. Like yep. that has not left. That's like necessary, I think, for relationships to be successful. Yeah. Is yeah. TikTok time. Yeah. I created a whole folder for him. Yeah, I, and I just literally just like save it to the folder. And yeah, so because it's sent back fold. and forth. Like, But I want to watch you watch him also. That, yeah. So. Yes. I feel the same yeah, way. Yeah, I know. That's why I don't. T- Actually, fun fact. Ryan and I, as close as we are in besties, we don't send like memeable stuff to each other. And is that because we just like. I don't like when you do that. She, <laughs> she hates it. Genuinely. Yeah. I would rather her just gather them all up and then do it because she'll send four. 40, and I'm like, I'm not going to sit there. So I don't. She's like, did you see my TikTok? And I'm like, no. So I'm not watching them. So she, so does, she doesn't send any. I don't she got send TikTok talkies anymore. Yeah. It, it is the worst feeling when you send a TikTok and then they don't respond or it's just like an emoji because it's like a pity emoji, mm-hmm. you know? And yeah. you're like, oh. 
Yeah, she, she just ghosts me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's fair. I do. But not anymore. You got the hint. Now you don't do it. Now you just save it, and now we do it, and then we just do it together. Mm-hmm. You know what I think we should do at our next sleepover night? Mm. We should each gather, like, our favorite, like, 10 or 15 TikToks and present them. Yeah. Like, like a PowerPoint, like yes. on the TV. But, yeah. like, sitting on the couch screen sharing. For sure. Just I scroll like through. That. Absolutely love. We're doing something like that, but just audio today. Right. Yes. Right. 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 Similar vibe. Well, it's kind of like that one night where... Whenever we slept over here and we just watched Wendy Williams compilations all night. And that yeah. was crazy. Yes. It's kind of like that. Education. It's necessary. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so who wants to kick it off first with their moment that lives rent free? Let's let Ryan, our pop culture okay. queen, start okay. yes. strong. All right. All right. That's fine. Okay. So my first one is Justin Bieber at the VMAs. I want to thank not only God, but Jesus. <laughs> that... Yes. I all of us were like, okay, well, heaven's covered, I guess. <laughs> Not only God, but, but also, also Jesus. Jesus. I love that one. I definitely reference that in my daily life. What about you guys? Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I, like I always think about it because I'm just like, why did he do that? Why did he say that? Not only God, but, but Jesus. Jesus. We're like, oh, we're okay. like, okay. He's like, and the Holy Ghost. We're like, <laughs> oh, we're like okay, okay. And also Mary. Mother of yeah, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like ever it's like, okay, no, for sure and for sure, but okay. <laughs> that's a good one. I love that. I had forgotten about that. And that's like kind of an old one too. He said I that, think that was in like 2010 or something like that. Yeah. Forever ago. Did he still have the swoopy hair? No, that was when he had just cut it. Oh. Mm-hmm. He had gosh. just cut I it. I remember like culturally, oh, like that the was shift like a- that was when he cut the Bieber hair. Mm-hmm. I mean, all the boys started cutting their Bieber hair. Yeah. Right. Damn. I know. <laughs> I know. The one I have is uh, one that's actually quite recent, but I think it's just so iconic and it's going to live on forever. And I'm going to give you the intro. And I actually got kind of want you guys to guess. Okay. The only thing I ever groomed was my two Persian cats. <laughs> God. Oh, God. Fucking uh, toxic Sick train. Gr- oh, what's Co- that toxic gossip, gossip train. train. Oh. Gossip train. Oh. oh, dude. Yeah, no, that's going to live for the rest of life. Yeah. I, I don't think we ever talked about that on the podcast when all of that was going on. But yeah. that was like an earworm for me. R- yeah. Yes. Right. And like, right. I just... I mean, so many things can be said about that, and they have been said. <laughs> but still, to every time it comes up, I'm like, how did that get to the point where you were like, this is the right move? You're like, right. this is a great idea. This will this will you, solve everything. You think this will really be like the saving this will grace, be it. right? Yeah. Like Let the only thing song. I ever groomed, girl. It's giving that sentence should never. Yeah, yeah. She, you shouldn't even have come said out that. of your came out of your mouth. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. Correct. It's and like it's, jarring. It's, it's bad yeah. enough to have the idea. But to have no one stop it, mm. right? Bad, bad. Do we think that she just like did like, like shot it, uploaded it, and told no one? Like not even like P. Like obviously, maybe she didn't call PR or whatever. But right. she like didn't even tell a, a significant other or somebody that knew her and was like, "Please stop! Don't do that." I don't know. I don't think Corey would have stopped her. To be honest, mm. I was and also say, she yeah. like fully. Like, didn't she go off about it where she's like, my people told me not to say anything, oh, yes. but the masses must know. Like, she tried to, yeah. whether or not that's what really happened, mm, right? Yeah, she, yeah, she yeah. did say that. She was like, yeah, people told me not to do it, but I did it anyway. We were like, you probably should have uh, listened. Listened. listened to yeah. those people. I think that's probably a situation where there were a lot of yes men, mm. and then the no men were cast out by the yes men. Right, mm. right. Yeah. And she even had to get that like put on Spotify so people could stop using it, right? Like that was the reason why she put the song on Spotify. Oh, really? Yeah. I have no idea. I didn't know that. I, I, yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, because I, I couldn't believe that it was on Spotify. So I was like, why would she think to put that on Spotify? Right. And then people were like, no, for legal reasons, because then she could say like, you can't you use can't that. You can't use the song. Yeah. Right. Also, I think she was mad people were monetizing off of it on a different platform. Yeah. I think she only oh. uploaded it to YouTube to start because that's yeah. where like her core base was. Right. Oh, well, yeah, now, that now one's going to live forever, dude. I don't think we'll ever forget this. We can't. No. We can't. This episode of 20 Whatever is brought to you by Factor. Eating well is made so much easier with Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals. Every fresh, never-frozen meal is chef-crafted, dietitian approved and ready to go in just two minutes. Every week, you'll have over 35 different options to choose from, and they have an amazing variety to suit so many different lifestyles and dietary preferences. I get the vegan and veggie box, and it is amazing. The meals are packed with flavor. I always 
always look forward to taking my lunch break with Factor. This week's tofu enchilada bowl in my Factor box was definitely a highlight. So delicious and flavorful with the rice, the veggies, roasted tofu, melty pepper jack cheese, and smothered in a rich enchilada sauce. So good, restaurant quality, and it's filling and nutritious, so it keeps me feeling good and all in just two minutes. They also have more than 60 add-ons to help you stay fueled up and feeling good all day long. Breakfast options, snacks, smoothies, protein shakes, and more. And Factor is flexible for your schedule. You can choose between six to 18 meals per week and pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime you need. So what are you waiting for? Get started with Factor today. Head to factormeals.com slash whatever50 and use code whatever50 to get 50% off. That's code whatever50 at factormeals.com slash whatever50 for 50% off. On the note of YouTuber cancellations, we will never forget. I had one written down that I'm sure you all can guess. And you did it at my birthday dinner. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Correct. Tati Westbrook. Tati Westbrook about James, James Charles, Charles. At her birthday dinner. Uh, I say that so much. <laughs> Too much. Like, I'm annoying myself and I can't <laughs> stop. <laughs> Any opportunity. And you did it at my birthday dinner. <laughs> And then when I'm feeling, you know, like, yes, continuing, talking about cock and balls. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Why? I just, for sure, and I believe that James Charles did do that because. Especially after things have continued. All of it. That was not an isolated incident. No. It was not. not isolated. But Tati, why did you say it like that? Like, why did you say that like that (laughs) on the internet? You know what I mean? Like, you made the choices to deliver it that way. And I just feel like. You didn't have to do it like that. And you, you know? did it at my birthday dinner. Dude, even Talking I was Talking about cock yeah. and balls. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I was at Disneyland the other day and we're on the Monsters Inc. ride and I'm sitting next to my sister-in-law and uh, the, the the part where Celia, the monster with, you know, the purple, who's Mike right. Wazowski's girlfriend, she goes, Mike Wazowski and on my birthday. Scream. And I turned to my sister-in-law and you did it at my birthday dinner. Did she get it? <laughs> yes. Oh, good, good, bless. good, good, yes. bless, good, 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 But I'm like, this, I will never yeah. forget that. No, never. I, I do have that lock. Like, that is one yeah. of Sierra's, like, iconic. If we're saying, like, mm-hmm. at my birthday, she's like, at my, my birthday, birthday dinner. dinner. And yeah. she will hit you it. And it's like. birthday dinner? Yeah. Yeah. I'm that's sorry. That's a really good one. That's Too a good much. one. No, but that's like. That's, I be, that makes me think of you now. I'm like, yeah. I'm never not going to hear that and not think of you. I'm like, damn it, on the birthday dinner. Yes. <laughs> oh, love this one. I mean, hate this, but love it. Oh, God. And honestly, some people will die. Oh, God. Which is terrible. Which is but terrible, like, but like inevitable. People will die. Vanessa Hudgens on COVID in March of 2020. On live, right? On live. On live. On live. Talking about Coachella being canceled. Isn't that right? Yes. <gasps> I didn't know it was because Coachella was canceled. That is even worse because obviously she's like the Coachella girl. So not her right. crying about Coachella being canceled. She's like, and like, and people will die, which like, what'd she say? Tragic? No, no, no. Uh, which is terrible. Terrible. But, but like, inevitable? inevitable? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be saying any of this right now. Correct. It's like the yes. way and she said too it too was yeah. just so in poor taste. Yeah. Poor taste. I mean, and it was like March. In the middle when of When we did not know what was going on. Was it Scary before times. after all of the celebrities got together and were like, I know what will fix this. A song. Imagine. <laughs> was, it, was it Imagine? Yeah, God. I think it was. This was before. Uh, that was, we were all like. We can never unsee oh, that. Oh, this, that's not. Who opened oh. it with like Gal Gadot? Who, I mm-hmm. think there was another part of that Vanessa Hudgens video that same live too, where she goes, "I get it. It's a virus. I respect it." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one I think yeah. about all the time. Yeah, yeah, too. yeah. And I, I respect, respect it. it. Me. Oh, well, I'm glad what? she respects it. <laughs> oh God. Sometimes this is why sometimes celebrities you just are like, just don't. You don't have to say anything. You know, you right. don't have to weigh in. Yeah. Just. Sh- sh- yeah. The next one I have is from uh, Dance Moms. <gasps> mm. oh. And from all of Dance Moms. All of Dance Moms, of Dance yes. Moms is an iconic. It's so quotable. Yeah. But one I think that's resurfacing right now that has been getting some remixes that's been in my brain is if that's all you got, bring it on, babe. I can lose weight, but ugly's to the bone. To the bone. <laughs> yeah. Totally. That is ugly. It's 
Chris to the bone. <laughs> That's Miss Abby Lee Miller fighting with Chloe's mom. Right. What's her yes. name again? Christy. Christy. Christy with a Y. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. dance moms should be studied by generations of the future. Anthropologists. I agree. Looking back. I agree. I, I fully agree. Fully agree. Dude, dance moms is like probably one of the most iconic reality TV shows to ever exist. Agree. Like, it's Agreed. absolutely in the top, like, five or ten. And it's crazy to see that, like, now we're seeing, like, the, the, the girls to grow up. I yeah. mean, like, we're seeing it in real time. And it's yeah. usually, like, those those kind of reality shows are, like, it's already passed. But, well, like, they're, like, grown-ups. Exactly. They're, like, adults already. But now we saw them as younger, little babies. And then now they're, like, on TikTok being, like, I can't wait to have kids. And I'm, like, hell yeah. I, like, <laughs> we're there now. You know, because right. JoJo Siwa, you right. know? And she's been all yeah. over the internet, too, where I'm, like, I didn't think. I think that that's probably what got me to watch Dance Moms. That they're just so yeah. relevant. The girls nowadays are I'm like, well, let's see the background. Yeah, because you didn't watch it when it was out. No, oh. no. I just for the first time watched Dance Mom this past year and binged it all the way through and was like, oh, shit, this is hysterical. And then right. understood where all the references were from. Right. So right. now I'm cultured. Right. And I'm prepared right. to rewatch it again because what the. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I almost wrote down Dance Moms one and I wish I did. But thank you for bringing in the Dance Moms representation. <laughs> I almost wrote down the one where Nia's mom is like, maybe we should bring in the empty chair and have her do a solo. Empty chair, do a solo. <laughs> and when Nia's mom got mad, it was like awesome. Yes, because oh Holly, Dr. Was, Holly, she was mm, always Dr. the Holly. most composed. Yep. And you know what? When whenever I see the Dance Moms girls on TikTok, I, I really root for all of them, especially mm-hmm. considering like what they went through. Right. Yeah. But something about Nia and also Kalani. Every time I see them, I'm like, I'm so. So happy for you. Yeah. You, yes. I think like something about them. I just really, really root for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Me too. Once uh, I, yeah. Seeing them like also like on YouTube, like be friends like Nia. I'm like, I'm so happy you're happy now because I felt right. like because I was watching you just it, really got went through it. Like, yeah. You really. I mean, well, especially with all of like the racist stuff. Yeah. That, she, that shit was crazy. She Watching had, it back now is like. Yikes, Abby, like, girl, what the fuck? She's like, I had to fight for my that. Rosa Parks spot, and I was the only black woman on the team. Like, that, <laughs> what's, what's, uh, 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 what's the a girl's name? Brooke? No, not Brooke. What's Her the mom? The mom. It's Kendall's mom, Jill. 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 Uh, well, I, I think little Kendall, uh, she could totally play the part. I was like, <laughs> little Kendall, yeah. What? My little Kendall. My little Kendall. Oh, <laughs> would make an is, excellent Rosa Parks. Would make an yeah. excellent Rosa Parks. <laughs> Help. God, which I'm actually very excited to see, like the if there is a musical adaptation of the Dance Moms, because you've seen the, I've seen the drag receipts, shows, da da, like they're what? joking, yeah, they're joking oh, like about parodies. There's uh-huh. parodies, but I think that they're like also talking about like making Dance Moms into like a musical, oh, like because have you seen any of the parodies yet on the on on TikTok? Just no, yet? I no. have. Oh my gosh, we have got to reference them for her. I was like, because like it's oh like the God. moms send, even send the links. Yeah, send the links. It's, there's also a bunch of drag shows that do Dance Moms, and mm, they'll be like right. the moms and the girls. Right, so funny. Oh, I love. This. I love that. So funny. Love that. Okay, my next one is Selena Gomez at the Teen Vogue party. When she has blue streaks oh. in her hair, and they're like, "What inspired the blue streaks?" And she's like, "I don't know. I wanted to do something a little crazy. It's the Teen Vogue party." <laughs> but why'd she say Vo- Vogue? Vogue. Ah! A little blue. What is it? Cringe, I just cringe, cringe. I love that one, and it also is so sad to me because the way that, like, at these carpets, they're doing interview after interview after interview. How are they to know that this is the one moment that is going to live forever? Right. I, know. I think of also like Debbie Ryan when she's like, and what I did is I went up to the president of Disney Channel and I said, we're going to make history. <laughs> That's just crack though. Like, here's the thing. There's one thing about Selena Gomez being like, ah, yeah. But Debbie Ryan went on a, a like a full on, you did the most. Like, and that's what, and you know what I said? I said, we're going to make, like, girl, what the, it, 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 and then she followed up with, and that's what we and did. And that's what we did. Yeah. Like, she really with even, her and she's like, and, and, her let's, d- and let's really be like. Let's really drive home. Yeah. And Selena Gomez, I feel like, was just, just like, like, I'm just literally a noodle head. And I'm yeah, just like, so happy because I have blue. Yeah. Yeah. Vogue. Debbie Ryan had things to say. Debbie, yeah. Debbie yes. Ryan. She came prepared. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, Selena oh. Gomez was just trying to, like, fill the time. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? Yep. I've been to a couple red carpets. I've done a couple uh, interviews, a very small amount. Slay. And let me. <laughs> Thank to you. Flex. <laughs> and, and let me say, 
I remember zero of what I said. Right. And you're just trying to, like, keep the energy up, and there's all these people and these lights, and you're going from person to person. And that's me as someone who's very irrelevant. Mm. I can't imagine how many that Selena Gomez and Demi Ryan are right. doing wow. on the red carpet. Right. I don't remember anything that I said. I'm just trying. These questions are coming at you, and it's right. loud, and, like, I, thank God I haven't had one of those moments yet. I right. Know, because yeah. all it takes is that one little clip. I know. Yeah. It's it all it takes one is little one little clip like that. No. At the Teen Vogue party. Yeah, party. Well, it's kind of like we were talking about with, um, what's her face? Madison Beer. And the like, yes. oh, I was supposed to be there yet. I was supposed to be in the video. It's the same thing. It's like yeah. they just took that they one took moment that and, and was like, it up. not this. Yeah. yeah. She was like, and I was just saying that like to one person. Like it really wasn't like I got on the stage and was like, and I was supposed to be in right. the music video. And I told him, you know what I said to him? We're going to make history. <laughs> and that's exactly what we did. <laughs> she wasn't doing all that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my next one is fun because I was actually with you and Kenzie when this happened, but when Will Smith smacked Chris Rock at the Golden Globes in 2022. Yes. Remember, we were at like whatever that restaurant was. It was after Spring Awakening. Uh huh. And we were watching the TV. Like they were just on. And then I remember I was like, um, Will Smith just got onto the stage and slapped Chris Rock. And I think we thought it was like a ha ha, but it was. Not a ha ha. Yes, it was one of those things where they're playing it on the TVs in the restaurant, but it's muted. Mm. Right. Yes. So yes. I'm sitting here, and the TV's behind my head, and yep. Ryan's sitting across from me, and all of a sudden she's like, "I, th I think Will Smith just slapped Chris Rock," right. and we're like turning well, around, looking at the TV, and it's like the aftermath, and we're like, "Oh, like for a like a, like a, bit. a bit, yeah." And then I remember we were like going on. I remember I like went on Twitter and I was like looking and I was like, oh no, like this is not a bit. Not a bit, like, not Things a bit. are happening. Like this is crazy. Oh my yeah. God, what did he say? What happened? That must have been wild from your perspective. Just like sitting, looking at me and Kenzie Yeah, talking. just like chatting. And I was just like casually looking over yeah. and then I was like. <laughs> now keep my wife's name out, out your, your mouth. mouth. Oh, he yeah. said yeah. fucking mouth. He said fucking mouth. mouth. Oh shit. He was dead ass. He was dead ass. Mm -hmm. I mean, for a, a hot minute there, we all were speculating, is this hot? I, for Like, even I, the day after, I even were like, is it a bit? Like, it's going to come out. I know, because it was, yeah, yeah. But then there was, like, allegations, and I was like, oh, no, this yeah, is it not was, a it joke. Yeah, it was not hot. They are upset. Yeah. yeah, it was for real, yeah. And then everybody was also, like, everybody else in the restaurant was like, you could tell everybody was, like, kind of talking about it and looking around. But, that, I mean, we're ne we will simply never forget that. Right. That was yeah. That will not be wild. forgotten. Yeah. All right, my final <laughs> one is also one that will never be forgotten and I think shaped me as a person. Oh. And they start off with, should we do it in pink font? Oh. The first night at bed, when you left crying, Ron made out with two <gasps> oh girls and put his head in between. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's the, should we do it in pink font? Should we do it in pink font? <laughs> in between two cocktail waitresses. Should we put breasts? Yeah, breasts. Uh -huh. Yeah, breasts. Yes, yes, God. yes. God, correct. Miss Snooki and Jay Wow, yep. as they are constructing the the tell all note, like the note Expose. of like the century. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Like this note, I, I mean, they've talked about it like since obviously it's been years, and they're like, we didn't know that that was gonna like do all of that. You guys went to the computer because they didn't have a computer. No, they, they had to like, go to like, the, the library office, or whatever would, the office is. Yeah. And then pay like to use the <laughs> internet to and to shit. print. Like that is so comical. I remember the commercials on MTV being like the girls at the computer. Like yep. that. Yeah. Iconic. And I'll never forget never. it. Never. Never. And they really did not say anything for so long. They were just like, oh my God, who did that? That's crazy. <laughs> Bro, Sam watching the season back like. I know. Gooped, gagged, girl. Oh, my God. Also, I think they were in the right. Maybe not the way they did it, but for telling Sam. Yeah. yeah. This idea of, like, oh, like, we shouldn't, like, get in their business or, like, it's, I'm right. team Ron. Right. He cheated on her. Yeah. yeah. Like, can yeah. we all agree, like, right now, obviously, be okay, okay to disagree, but... We would want to know, like, yeah, if we are oh, on, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. if Steven's head was in two cocktail waitresses' breasts, is right. Please yeah. write me a note. Me right. it on my keyboard. <laughs> me right. and Ryan, should we do it in pink font? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. But like, we would I have to. We would I have to. I feel like at that point, I don't really care who wrote it. I think that's what. Sam harped way too much on like who gives a fuck who wrote it let's just assume that everybody saw because everybody did, did see. see and I would have been like you guys all know and everybody it's fine who cares because you want to whatever my issue is with Ron yeah yeah like it was too much harping on who wrote the note it, yeah it was very like let's have the person who's responsible for the indiscretion take 
the responsibility. Yeah, no, she's right. like, who the hell? You're like, who, who well. Who wrote this? It, like, it doesn't matter, really. You're like, who? It got wrote, who, Yeah, so. and who was actually friendly enough to tell you? Maybe, perhaps, again, not this way. But also, like, imagine going to her and telling her that tea. If you saw the way she reacted over that note, like, I understand, yes. Mm-hmm, but imagine right. trying to honestly tell her anything. Like, I don't well, think she would Well, and I accept. also think that, like, Wow and Suki were also trying to, like, keep as much peace as they could. Because also, if Ron knew that he... T- I mean, when Ron found out that they wrote it, it was, like, a whole thing. And they were fighting, and it was... So... Yeah. And does he have a right to be angry at them well, for no. snitching? Like, uh, Ron like, had no right to do anything that he did. Yeah, Ron did a lot of stuff. I think most of what Ron did was like... Wrong. This is wrong. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there was really ever a moment where I was like, that's fair. And yeah, Right. And they caught it on camera too, right? Like, it's like you could see the footage. Like, as they were like typing it, they're like putting reference and then footage. You're like, literally after when they come back from the club, he's just like, yeah, I was doing blah, 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 blah. Now I'm going to go get in Sam's bed. And then he gets <gasps> in Sam's bed and that's a whole thing. Oh yeah. my God, yeah. I forgot and he did, about he did that. it twice. He did it multiple times where he would go out and get drunk and like fuck around and then come back and be like, Sam, baby, I miss you. Jersey Shore is another one that I think should be studied by future anthropologists. Absolutely, mm-hmm. 100%. Yeah. And you know what I've loved to see is the redemption of Mike the situation. Oh, yeah. Yes. I recently saw yes. a, a lot of the clips about um, his book that he's writing about his recovery mm-hmm. and um, getting clean from drugs and his mm-hmm. whole story with that. And I, it just seems like a 180. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it seems like so genuine. And it's like, I think in one of the clips I saw, he was like, and I want people to know if Mike the situation can do it, you can do it too. <laughs> T. Oh, that's so, T. I that's know. inspirational. It is. Oh, yeah. It is because he was a mess. Yeah. He was in his, what's Poor it called? Man. Abercrombie sweats that they that the brand at one point was like he can no longer wear because oh, he was yeah. representing them poorly. That's right. Yeah. Like I he was like that. brands are calling. He's. Tell him not to to wear the clothes off. (laughs) Damn, the brand is like begging you not to wear their clothes. You know it's bad. We will pay you to take it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Damn. Damn. Yeah. (laughs) That was a good one. That was a great one. Oh my gosh. All of Jersey Shore. Yeah. Yeah. Masterpiece. I think we should rewatch it. Yeah. Again? Again. Again. I have one, uh, a nice daytime television one. Ooh. This is uh, on Ellen with Dakota Johnson, who's also recently been in the news for the weird oh, press Madame tour Webb. for Madam Web. Mm. Um, actually, Ellen, that's not what happened. I don't remember Do you this. Know this one. No. Oh, it's so good. So, Dakota, you know how Ellen's whole kind of thing is like, yeah. Not gotcha journalism, but the like television daytime equivalent of gotcha journalism. She likes to scare and prank people on her shows. Oh yes, and yes. kind of undercut and like right. you know make 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 a little haha of them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So Dakota Johnson's talking about her birthday, like something that happened at her birthday, and Ellen's like, "Well, thanks for the invite." Yeah, right. And Dakota Johnson's like, "Uh, I sent you an invite mm-hmm. because you made this joke last time I was on." Ooh, and. Ellen is like, oh, well, it must have gotten, you know, like trying to make an excuse. And Dakota Johnson just goes, actually, Ellen, that's not what happened. And like goes through the whole thing. And and then Ellen like declined the invite or like ignored it and then tried to make a joke out of it. Right. Mm -hmm. And just, oh. I love that. It's so funny to see Ellen kind of get. Yeah. Fluster. A great right. producer Agreed. sided with Dakota Johnson on camera in front of the audience because she was Ooh. like, oh, well, uh, did we get that to her producer? Right. And they were like, yeah. And she was like, oh, oops. <laughs> oh, I was at that thing. Mm-hmm. Right. I was, I was, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, that's fine, Ellen. You don't have to go to Dakota Johnson's birthday. But then don't try to make a joke about that you weren't invited. Right. 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 And it's like, no, you declined and didn't come. Funny. Mm. Joke's on you now, huh? Got a Jade. Get a Jade. Get a Jade. Literally. But with the Dakota Johnson stuff, I almost want to see Madam Web just because of how terrible people God, say it is. It, mm. Yeah, people are saying it's really bad, and Sydney Sweeney is like weird in it, and not oh. it's not giving. What? Dang it. Some people are calling it the worst movie of all time. What? Yeah. That, which makes me want to go see it. And oh, also, right, just to see. People are also saying that like they made this movie bad so that they could be like, see, we gave they, we gave the girls a movie and it sucked. No why more. Do, why? why? Which I also believe. Well, that's... also a lot of people, this happened with a uh, British actor named Matt Smith, too, when they did, um, what's the, Morbius, that movie. <laughs> yes. Um, where Sony's doing this interesting thing where they're being MCU adjacent. Right, yeah, yeah. And they are being misleading enough intentionally or other, in my opinion, that they are, um, they have people who, big ticket stars, sign up to do these movies because Matt Smith is best friends with Karen Gillan. Karen Gillan 
is from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. So she's actually like canonically in the MCU now. And he mm-hmm. called her and was like, so what was it like working with them? And she was like, babes, that's not. Yep. But You're not in kind the MCU. Of posturing as though they are their equivalent. And I think a very similar thing happened with Dakota Johnson. Yep. That's what happened with Bad Bunny, too. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Bad Bunny, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, announced that he was like, going to be in a Marvel movie mm-hmm. and then realized it wasn't a Marvel movie. And he was like, oh, yeah. Six yeah. months later, pulled out. Mm-hmm. He was like, mm-hmm. Yeah, supposedly uh, Dakota Johnson only found out, like, when the trailer dropped. Hmm. That it was at MCU. She, in her announcement post, tagged yep. Marvel Studios. Shit. Yep. Damn when it, it. it is from yep. Marvel Comics, but it is Sony. Yeah. It is not the Marvel Universe. Right. Oh, shit. And yeah. so <laughs> yeah. people are saying, I guess, I guess she fired her agent or her publicist mm. after that. Oh. But someone's getting fired. Yeah. yeah I don't know how much longer it. it's in theaters, but... I have this morbid curiosity. Like, the way that I, when I went and saw Cats. Mm. Like, I didn't Same vibe. go to see it because it was good. Right. Like, I'm looking to see why it was so bad. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. right. And I also want to give my sense on why it's so bad. Yeah. Because right. we already know we're here to just, what the fuck is this? Let <laughs> yeah. yeah. me decide for myself. <laughs> right, right. It's like, right. as I've gotten back into reading and people say how terrible Colleen Hoover books are, I'm like, well, let me read a Colleen Hoover book. Right. Yeah. Are like, they bad? They're like... <laughs> They're, they're, <laughs> they're interesting. I read two. Okay. And they're very, like, they take themselves very seriously, these mm. books. Mm. Um, but they're not very well written. Okay. Mm. But it's, like, an easy read. Yeah. I gave it, like, three stars, I think. And out the other of five? One I gave, yeah. Oh, I thought out of ten. I was like, no. oh, well. And the other one, I gave three and a half. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's like, I, I'm not mad that I read you them. Read they them. weren't the worst. Yeah. There's only one book I've given one star since I started posting on Goodreads. Which was? Tell us. Um, the, the Fifty Shades of Grey sequel. That, it is yeah, the single worst book I have ever read in my entire really? life. Really? Also bad movies. I haven't yeah. seen the movies. Not good. No. N- not hot. At, like, not what you want it well, to be. Well, it's because you yeah. go expecting something and you leave and you're like, And you're well, like, that was so PG-13. Yeah. Right. Well, I read the first one because I was like, I read it only last year because I was like, all right. This was such a thing. I'm right. reading more steamy books. Let's read like the, the, the steamy yeah, book, yeah, you know? Yeah. And the first one was okay. There's a lot of, you know, lead up and tension and mm-hmm. it's like definitely like a weird power dynamic and Yeah. It's also, a, yeah. the events of it only take place over like 2 or 3 months. Like for yeah. the entire yeah. I think series, it's insane. Yeah, like the first book is like a couple weeks. Right. And so it but it you know, it's it's fine. I there were parts that were enjoyable. It was not nearly as spicy mm-hmm. as it was made to seem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I thought well, I was gonna get some real kinky shit. Mm-hmm. Right. And it was like I'm gonna tie you up, and you're like, okay, okay. All right. yeah, blindfold you. Yeah. Okay, All right. yeah, right. That's standard. Yeah, right. It's yeah, a Wednesday night. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but the first one, like, I enjoyed it for what it was. It was fine. I was like, okay, I'll read. I'll read the sequel. Mm-hmm. Terrible. Mm. Horrible. <laughs> Reads like the worst fan fiction you've ever read. There's all these weird plot contrivances where to, to build the tension, you always think somebody's going to die and then they never do. And then they're like, well, that made me realize we're meant to be together. And oh. then they lead up to the sex and then the sex is boring and repetitive. And it's like, all right. Right. All right. right. All right. I only finished that book so I could have the satisfaction of giving it one star. Right. Because you're like, I've already gotten this far also, right. and so let like, me allow also. me to finish it. Yeah, yeah, yeah Because yeah. someone's got to finish around here, yeah. and it's not... And it's not this <laughs> rich. <laughs> That's a good one. That Sorry. was really good. <laughs> I don't know how we got here, but yeah. I don't know either Fifty what. Shades of Grey. Yeah, boo. 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 Was that everything oh, from you, I have ladies? Love, last one. I have a last one. I have okay. one oh, more. amazing. Okay. I, have one more. I have one more, too. Okay. And you, too, Mr. Spears. You tricked us all. Death. Death to all of them. Ooh. Wendy yeah. motherfucking yeah. Williams. Yes. Death. She's she always goes, like, she goes, death. Death to a mall. And everybody goes, oh. She goes, oh. Oh. Like she didn't say that. <laughs> like she didn't like just she say Like she didn't just a- say it. Yeah. <laughs> she always, always. That's oh, oh, oh. When the crowd's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> I love God. Wendy Williams. Just a gem. And I think about her every day. And I hope she's doing well. She's yeah. not. But I hope she I didn't know that she was uh, 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 off from the scene right now or wasn't doing well. Yeah, because of her, like, are you okay? Sorry, yeah. No, it's okay. The baby just, like, moved into a really weird position. But sorry, I didn't mean to Okay, no, it's okay. I was like, is it happening? (laughs) No, so she's like, (laughs) is it happening? My water just broke. We're like, holy shit. Shit. (laughs) 
Get oh some God. towels. <laughs> <laughs> we got this. We're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your sleeve. We don't need it. <laughs> We're going to deliver yeah, yeah, yeah. right here. <laughs> Jessica, <laughs> we get the cameras. <laughs> Zoom in. Yeah. Um, what Not even God. What are we talking we about? Ca- Wendy Williams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wendy Williams. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Um, what? Oh, yeah. So her talk show like ended. It was like 25 years or something, you know, whatever. She just mm-hmm. retired. But like the tea is that her like husband was like her manager. So we already know how that's the tea. Mm. And like, and then he was cheating on her mm. with whoever in their house, whatever. The, I don't oh. know what the fuck the tea is. And now she has like no, like, uh, not that she doesn't own anything, but she doesn't have like. Assets? No. Any like. Like she can't really do much about any of it. Well, she has no agency. There we go. Mm. Okay. Also, I, I believe she, when leaving the show, and hopefully she's feeling better now, but I remember her hearing something about her, like, worsening health or other oh, things. Yeah. And, yeah. So tough. I mean, yeah. we're also closing a show that she's been doing for so long. Mm-hmm. That's her baby. You know? I think and there's going a, through that. I think there's a documentary that's going to come out. Oh, I would love to um, watch that. And I think she's, like, have like Part involved it. in it yeah oh, yeah so fabulous. i think it's gonna be like gonna really get. good yeah good if she yeah. has any hand in it and that'll be great for her creative process too trying to get that video out yeah. i saw a tiktok where she was like talking to somebody and she was like all i know how to do is be on tv and like that's what i want to do and i just like feel like i can't even like do what i know how to do and blah blah, blah. i was like oh my god wendy and wendy. then i watched wendy williams compilations for the next hour and i was crying laughing on the floor wendy we are here for you and wendy. ready to consume any of your content yes. when you if you want to be on the podcast you can. <laughs> we have a spot right here yeah. for you the q-tips <laughs> yeah the you're Q-tips. crying you'll be good or who, i like what you what that one where she spills the coffee on her dress and she's like hey, hey, <laughs> just her fake crying <laughs> any any of her bits honestly <laughs> She's such a legend. She's just so uh, naturally funny. Yes. So memeable. Yes. Oh mm-hmm. my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. Without she is TikTok. Agreed. She didn't even know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sierra, last one. Okay. So my last one is one of the few, I think, lighthearted things that I could laugh about during the Trump presidency. Oh, oh. it's gonna be good. Oh. It's it's a hard time when you're feeling like you can't even laugh at the things that are going on in politics because they have such strong ramifications. Mm-hmm. Correct. Um, and go so far against what you believe in. But there was one bright spot that I felt like I can just laugh at this at face value and not cry to think about the implications. Right. And that was when they scheduled a press conference at Four Seasons Landscaping. Do you remember this? <laughs> they tried to schedule a press conference. At the Four at Seasons. The four seasons. <laughs> and instead, it was at a small landscape and gardening store <laughs> called Four Seasons Landscaping. Uh, and they stood by that and tried to claim that it was, like, intentional to support small businesses. Right, of course. And you have, like, the Secret Service and the whole administration <laughs> and Trump. Like, in front of this flower shop. Yes. <laughs> Who lost your job that day? <laughs> Somebody got fired. I hope, respectfully, who lost their like yeah. who did that? Yeah, like, honestly, but they you, deserve a raise. They deserve, they deserve a, raise. a raise. Do we think that it could have been like sabotage? Saboteur? No, no, I think it was like fully intentional. Of like, let's just look up the number for the four seasons in this city we're going to. Okay, right. perfect. Hello. We'd like to schedule a press conference with President Tr- the president. Dude, these people are like, holy oh my- shit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He hangs uh, up. You guys, Trump's coming. <laughs> <laughs> stop the construction. Literally, stop, stop. Like everybody coming. saw. I think about the Four Seasons press conference all the time. <laughs> that is God. so funny. I holy love shit. That. Would you say that's a Roman Empire? Yes. Topic for you? <laughs> the the Four Seasons press conference is absolutely a Roman Empire for me. <laughs> and I think it was just an opportunity for a time when politics felt like everything carried so much weight and mm-hmm. was so detrimental yeah. that I could just be like, ha ha. Right. You guys are stupid. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> Not these dummy heads. Dummy heads. Dummy yeah. heads. <laughs> That's funny. I good love one. that. That's yeah. a great and one. And that gave me a good belly laugh. That was a good, yeah. <laughs> good job, ladies. Yeah, that we was have a really good, good ones. One. Which, the ones that, for the game, just sourced, we have not heard them at all. That's T. Okay. Also, can I just say, how iconic is it that we knew, like, pretty much every other one that the other person was saying? Yes. 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 I yes. was going to say, too, I was like, that's how you know these are, like, truly, truly so iconic. Because I we know. all are on different sides of the internet. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. see different things. I mean... 
we have tried to explain TikToks to one another on this couch before, and it's right, been a right, struggle. Right, 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 yeah. right. You've seen, <laughs> you've seen it. But these pop culture moments—that's how. You, that's how I know that they're also going to get it. Like yeah. you guys are also going to be like, right, TBT. Yeah, I'm yes. interested to see because again, we were not involved in the sourcing. So if there's yes. any of the ones that we were mentioned that just like polled and stuff yeah, like yeah, that yeah, that yeah. were quizzed on, and good thing we went through a little uh, prep right now. So yeah. if there are, we'll know them. Yep. Yes. Yep. <laughs> and uh, let us know down in the comments what the pop culture moments that live in your head rent free are. Yes. Uh, um, and uh, as we go through this game, if there's a way that you can uh, leave your guesses down in the comments, I think, uh, Jess, do you want to explain it to us? How we're going to how we're going to do this? <laughs> <laughs> OK, Doki. Well, I was thinking originally I was thinking whiteboards, but I think we're going to buzzer style in. So I'm going to play a three five second clip. And if you know what it is, buzz in. Have your answer ready. Um, this will be interesting. I feel like you guys are an interesting mix of competitive and non-competitive. <laughs> Peak. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> um, and then I also have versions like the full clip, um, uh, if we need them at all. Oh, good. Perfect. Um, and if it's applicable, we'll put it on screen, all that fun stuff. All right. Should we each have an, in, uh, a distinct buzzer sound? Yes. 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 I was just thinking that too. And I'm, should we do it like? Like a buzzer sound, or like we're like, hey, hi, hey, hello. Like we'll say oh. our thing. I, I don't know. I was just thinking. Oh, it's a I like that. Yeah. Okay. I was hi. gonna be like, I'll be like oh. you're not high, but yeah. I know. That's <laughs> a, I, I don't know. Sometimes you don't know, so I had to let you. That's true. I'm sorry. Where were we at, Dear Media? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Am I high? No. No. You, uh, are you? you? Might be. <laughs> All right. So do we want to do a hi, hey, hello? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All okay. right. Wait. What? So you'll the say hi thing. if you want to. No, no, no. When when our buzz is hi. Okay, Hi, okay, like, hey. okay, yeah, right, 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 okay, got it. Although I feel like that gives me a, a, a leg up, because mine's easiest to say. Yeah, yeah hello's kind of long. But only if you get it. Oh! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> All right, no. Let's, let's start the game! All right, let's go! No, let's, let's go! go. <laughs> See, Ryan's ready to rumble. She doesn't think I'm ever going to be saying the, the thing. Look, <laughs> Sierra's out of touch. No. Sierra just watches weird history TikToks. <laughs> Maybe... Maybe I'm more educated than you think on pop culture, Ryan. <laughs> Dude, you better freaking deliver Bro, after that speech. I said maybe, this, this, and the answer is probably not. <laughs> But maybe. But, okay, okay. <laughs> me, oh my god, we're fighting. The girls are fighting. The girls are fighting. <laughs> I love the competitiveness within Sierra. It's I, honestly she's my so competitive I that it. she was trying to compete with me, and I was and I was like, it. oh no 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 no! I love it. I'm screaming. <laughs> Imagine if you also were competitive, though. The three of us. Oh uh, no, Ryan, we need you. Yeah, you balance us out. It's true. Uh, yeah, correct. That's true. You keep. The she's peace. like you guys. I keep the we're just like it's fun. fun. It's just a game. Just a game. She's yeah. like Gal Gadot, just being like, imagine all <laughs> the people. Right. <laughs> and that cured COVID. All right. Before we start, I will accept if you only know contextually. A part of the answer. If you are correct, mm -hmm. you can have the point. Okay. okay. So Word. it's like who said it or where it was said. Right. What awesome. the T is. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. You ready? Yes. yes. Your, your, uh, your hands ready to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Stop taking pictures of yourself. Oh! Just going to I got it. it Chris was... Jenner in an early episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians when Kim oh. is in the back of the car with her yep. camera and taking selfies. Yep. <laughs> your sister's going to prison, Kim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Do you want to hear the clip? Yeah, yes. let's hear the full clip. Okay, here we go. Your sister's going to jail. Have a little compassion. Kim, would you stop taking pictures of yourself? Your sister's going to jail. <laughs> Your sister's going to jail. Kim, oh, we need God. the effect of the everyone on what we're doing right <laughs> while Chloe's gone. Here, Kim, this one. I feel like I'm gonna barf. Good, throw up. <laughs> Good, throw up. Do it. God, that's another one. Like iconic, obviously reality TV shows. Keeping up with the Kardashians, like yeah. that's a great one. I totally forgot about Keeping up with the Kardashians. Me too. Yeah. They're so quotable too. Yeah. You know what's one I quote a lot? Don't be effing rude. Yep. That's a yep. great one. That's mm -hmm. such a great Kardashian. Is that quote. Kim hitting Courtney with her bag? Kim mm -hmm. hitting Kim uh, hitting Courtney. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Kim hitting Courtney and Chloe being like, "You guys, what the fuck?" Actually, crazy. They basically did the same thing when they had that crazy ass fight recently. When remember when mm -hmm. she bopped her head and her makeup was all over the wall? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Courtney and Kim, mm -hmm. they never were friends. It's giving. They, they were, were always, always scrapping with each other. And Chloe being like, "You guys, what the hell?" Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. 
say Eric got that point. Mm-hmm. Um, one um, point. Did you hear good. my hi? Yeah. Did, did you, you even say it? I did. Did you? I did. Put, roll the tape. <laughs> I heard. I heard. Roll, I got it. I got it. Roll the tape. <laughs> Thank you. I will also accept in volleyball rules if you yell, mine! <laughs> Fair. Right. Good, good, good. Okay. In volleyball um, rules. Yeah, when you've got good. the ball, you don't want to collide with your teammate. Yes. You yell, mine, and who right. Like, it's good. Communication is key. I like that. Okay. Speaking of communication being key, our next clip. You ready? Yep. Okay. What's good for me? That's my opinion! Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what... A fuck. Uh-huh. I think it's Housewives. It's Real Housewives across the dinner table. Right? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I, I'm not. I'm not asking about it. Oh no no! It's a it's a uh, it's a it's like a reunion, right? Are they at the reunion? I don't know which I don't know which fucking housewives mm-hmm. it is because there's a forty million. But it's some bitch, and she's like, "Well, why do you think this thing?" And she's like, "It's my opinion," and she's like, "No, but that's wrong." And she gets, "That's my opinion." Here is the full clip. Yes. It is Tamara and Vicky from Real Housewives of um, Orange County. Oh. Orange Ooh. County. And I don't think that he's good for I don't you. Think he's good How for do you? you know? What's good for me? That's my opinion! That's giving the same Correct. energy as it, that, like, cat, the other... Yeah, that's what I was with. referencing at first, but I was like, no, that's not it. They were at a reunion. You guys read my mind. I was literally about to be, ask, is that from when the cat meme, yeah. when he was, like, eating the salad, and he's like... <laughs> yep, and she's screaming, That was pointing. the same era of Housewives, yeah. but it was a little south. <laughs> Which, Sierra, you're going to be watching Housewives for... That's right. We decided that's going to be my breastfeeding show. Yep. Good, good, yep. good, good, good. I'm excited You'll for see you. that and be like, ah. ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. See, that's the thing. I I know that sound. I've heard that sound. No idea the origin. Right. And now you do. do. I'm educated. See? Yep. Thank you. <laughs> this is educational. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. This YouTube was- YouTube should classify this as educational. Like, put it right next to Crash Course. Mm-hmm. Right, correct, 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 correct. Crash Course pop culture <laughs> memes. No, it's giving Cracked Course. <laughs> <laughs> cracked Course. Look at Hank Green on here. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Next clip. Ready? Uh-huh. Ready? All right. Everybody says, who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. A god. Okay, that's... I don't know this one. Are you stumped? Ooh, is that the full clip? Or no, that was do you just want me to play yeah. the full clip? Let's yeah, play the full I clip. feel like yeah. if we don't get it off of the, off of the little piece, so we can play the whole thing. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody says, who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. Definitely like Kanye. I was just gonna say it's definitely Kanye. Kanye. I West. told you. That's who I think I am. It's definitely yeah, Kanye, Kanye West. Is, I know yeah. Mr. Kanye West. Yeah. I don't know what this, mm-hmm. I don't know what. As soon as he, I heard his voice that time, I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. I, I thought it was Kanye West, but then I was like, I don't want to be wrong. I, I've heard that quote before. I had no idea it was from Kanye. No. What no. was the, the. Where is the, he? He's in a recording studio giving an interview. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Location, irrelevant. My, oh, just to, just to insert something here. I think uh, my favorite and probably your favorite too, Kanye West quote. Hey, get- good morning, Kanye. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's my favorite. Hey, hey good, good morning, morning Kanye. Kanye. Shut, Shut the, the fuck up. up. And, and the you way know he what? like looks at the pop he's so in his like, house. And, and the guy was just like, hey, good morning. Kanye's like, ugh. Hey, good that morning, is Kanye. such a good one. <laughs> I love that good one. Good one. Okay. Ready? Yes. P. It was P. I didn't even say my thing. I just said, oh, no, you all. I'm watching oh. arms. All right, P. This is Miss Selena Gomez. <laughs> yeah. At the fucking one. Choice is it? Awards. Choice Awards. It's a little blue. Yep. Teen Let's, Vogue team party. party. Let's hear it. Blue going on. Where's that inspiration coming from? I don't know. I like a little edge and a little pop in my hair, so I wanted to add something different, especially for the Teen Vogue party. Yeah, right. Teen Vogue party. Yeah. 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 Everything, you know, I love, I love That's seeing good. who. The voice also. The little voice, the voice. on her. Yes. Why is it giving Debbie Ryan? Like, if you, I, I, if like I didn't know Disney that was Selena. Voice. It's yeah. like that Disney. Kids. Yeah, you know. Oh, it. And you're watching Disney Channel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, P, there you go. Oh, good we job, got, P. Ryan has one, P has two, and Sierra also has one. All right. Okay, here we go. Well, you should probably eat. <gasps> oh, Sarah? That is uh, Jennifer. No, not Jennifer Lawrence. That is on the red carpet, and it is Dakota Johnson. No, 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 no. Crap. No, I you was know, just it's talking around about this Hunger Games times, yes. but it's not Hunger Games Jen- series. Uh, uh, oh, 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 Um, the girl from uh, oh. Secret Life of the American Teenager, Shailene Woodley. Sh- yes. Yes. it is Shailene Woodley. Yes, yes. And, yes. And it was giving around that time when everyone was like, 
oh my god, I'd rather just be at home in right. sweatpants. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah, here's mm -hmm. the full clip, it's five seconds. Are you hungry right now? Not at all. Really? I'm so hungry. Well, you should probably eat. Well, you should probably you eat. You should probably eat. Yeah. Right. No, I remember that being like kind of a, a big deal for the time where it was like, why would you ask her that? And then other female celebrities were coming forward and were like, yeah, you guys asked some fucking weird questions. You didn't yeah. ask Hugh Jackman if he's hungry right now. Yeah. yeah. It was given that the, the reporter was trying to be like relatable and get like right. a relatable moment. Mm -hmm. right. Jennifer Lawrence style of like. I wish I was at home having a cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. They're trying and to Shailene Woodley's just like, girl, I don't even want to be here. I hate being a celebrity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm hungry. She's like, okay. you should eat. Yeah. Her like, we are working right now, She's girl. Like, like, anyways. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Sorry to this man. I'm sorry. Oh, Kiki Palmer and the lie detector test, obviously. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't yeah. remember who she was talking about, though. Play the clip. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. Maybe I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know a thing. I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to this man. <laughs> I'm sorry to this man. We quote that one. I'm could, sorry to this could man. He could be walking down the street and I, and I, and I wouldn't know a thing. <laughs> <laughs> she really is like, I don't know. Fuck. And that's where she's so funny because she could have just said, no, I don't know who that is. Right. But God. she didn't. She created an iconic yes. moment. Yeah. As she does. I'm sorry. Who was she's she like, talking she's, about? I think, and forgive me if I'm wrong, internet, but, um... I think it was one of the establishing questions of the um, lie detector tests they do. So it's like they ask you your name to establish a truth. They ask other yeah, things to set your baseline. Who, is this, who was the photo of? I don't uh, know. It was just a random man on the street. I also do not recognize him. Oh, He's okay. just an old white guy. I oh. thought it was a celebrity. I thought it was, a celebrity I thought it was somebody, and that's him. why it was silly that we had no idea. She's like, but I do love that Jessica also has no idea who yeah, that is. And, right. and I'm sorry to this it, man. She goes, because, like, I'm with Kiki. Yeah. yeah, she's like, I didn't recognize her. She goes, she goes and, I hope, and I hope I don't sound ridiculous. But. <laughs> it's like, Dick Cheney. Yeah, Dick old Cheney. white guy. I'm right. Okay. I mean, old white guy. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Right. No, he... he yeah, he did not. I know who Dick Cheney is. That guy did not look recognizable at all. I don't know what Dick Cheney looks like. I know the name. <laughs> Old white man. Yeah. You got it. You, Whatever you thought that's of, that's all what it is. you need to know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. We've got a three way tie. Everyone has two points. Ooh. Ooh. Um, we're going to do a last. This never happens. I know. <laughs> we're going to do a couple more, starting with Are y'all ready? Yes. Ready. All right, here we go. Hi. Hey, hello. Hi, how are you? Um, that is James Charles kneeling on the ground singing, bring me little water to thee. And he's doing this with his hand. And I believe it's at a convention. It's to fans. Like, he it's, just Why is he always singing, to singing fans? Just like, in yeah. places like the... Like, he's surrounded by fans. He's on concrete. I can picture it in my head. No. And I want to say it was like VidCon or something. Like, he was just like outside. It's on the street. Mm -hmm. Dios mío. It's hilarious. Here we go. Bring me a little water now. Bring me a little water, Sylvie. God, I cannot. I, I just showed her that a video of James Charles singing um, that Dua Lipa song in the mall. Um, <laughs> so when he does the kick. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You have to kick him <laughs> out again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was like, wait, what? I was like, oh, I was you like, need why to does he look like this. he's at like a Macy's? And she's like, I think he's He's is. like in a mall and, and was doing like a meet and greet or something and like decided yeah, to, to sing. Oh, God. And kick, he's also girl. just like, he's also just like. And just, he gets a big woohoo when he does the Yeah, kick. yeah. yeah. <laughs> God. Oh my god. Good one. Good one. Really though. Um, okay, here's another one. Y'all ready? Mm-hmm. Drag queen! Oh, oh, oh. I got to Jimmy Fallon uh, RuPaul at Jimmy Fallon. Yes, indeed. And Jimmy Fallon almost shit himself because he thought that he had um said something problematic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's a drag queen. Drag queen has ever been put on the uh cover A drag queen! <laughs> a drag queen! He shit himself. Yeah. I am the queen of drag. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Fallon's like, yeah. yeah. The look on Fuck. his face is like stress. He's having a drag queen. And oh, a, a drag queen. queen. <laughs> it's giving back rolls. Back is that rolls. What that's, that's oh, giving. that's another good one. Uh, we need, we should. Uh, like, I know. I should. There's I so did, many drag race ones. I didn't. We would have been here for years. Race. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. I think. Get your hands ready for this one. This is gonna be our last one. Oh. And then we'll tally points. Okay, three, two, one. 
and it's going to be a very epic. Oh, it's Ryan! Ryan. It's, it's Debbie Ryan. Ryan. It's Debbie, yeah, it's yeah. Debbie Ryan it's on the carpet, and she's talking about, and you know what? And I walked in there, and I said, I'm going to make history, and that's exactly what we did. Wow. You closed yes. us out with that one, I Jessica. Had, that was the inspiration for the video. That right. is true. That is true. Uh, here's the clip while I tell you the points. It's going to be a very epic. I wanted to make, my, my one thing was I went into the Disney Channel building, and I sat down with the president of Disney Channel, and I said, I want to make history. And that's what this is. That's what this and is. that's what this is. Is that also the same red carpet where Justin Bieber's like not too far away and she's like, oh my gosh, Justin Bieber's like right there. I want to, hi Justin. I wonder if he's going to see me. It's like, the, I think that's the same interview. She's acting so cracked in same that shit. Energy. I don't know what the I fuck. think so. Like, Delu, girl, relax. <laughs> Here's the thing. Well, first of all, I'm Jess, I'm so glad that you pulled that one because after how much we've referenced it in this episode, yeah, to it get was to needed. hear it, mm-hmm. I'm really glad. <laughs> Second of all, I feel like if had I been a Disney Channel girl, if my childhood dream of being discovered in a mall and right. you know taken to LA would have happened, right. mm-hmm. I would have Debbie Ryan energy. One hundred percent. Thank you. Me too. Uh, yes, and so I, I, I feel like I would have said that kind of stuff mm-hmm. on the yeah. red carpet. Yeah, that you walked into the <laughs> president of Disney Channel's office, and I said, "I want to make history." And you know what? That's exactly that's what, what happens. Is. That's what this is, you guys. Yeah. That's what, that's what Viewers, this is. Yeah, this, that's what the fuck was is. she talking about? <laughs> I believe it was that her character gets engaged on, on Jesse. Jesse. Girl, bye. And that that had, like, never happened. Bro, okay, this yeah. is so, yeah. such slight But tea. she's right. <laughs> she's <laughs> right. She you made guys, history. She in 2020, did. when everybody was in lockdown and no one had anything to do and we were all just, like, watching everything, I was at my parents' house help and me and my sister watched everything on disney plus because what else were we doing we got to jesse i never watched jesse because that was like after we had already like grown up or whatever so i'm watching this and i'm like this is so bad like this is just a tragedy but then we were thinking about cameron boyce and i was like oh my god this is so sad Mm -hmm. and then we got to the last episode why are me and my sister sobbing our eyes out. And I was like, I don't care about the show at all. I'm just, I'm like, but this is a camera boys, boy. Like, this is so sad. And obviously yeah. the last episode is sad or whatever. And it was just a mess. And that's when I watched Jesse and I will never watch it again. What, what Can you spoil the end of Jesse for us? What happens? I mean, I think, cause she's like their nanny. Right. And so I think she like books. I think she's an actress. So I think she like books mm. something and like doesn't nanny for them anymore. And like, mm. move, like moves away or whatever mm. the fuck. I don't know. I don't oh. know. No, that's what happened. Right? Okay. okay. No, I Googled it. I remember watching it because I had a second renaissance of Disney Channel mm. when I nannied in high school. Oh, right. Because I yeah. had little babies. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I... But that was my taste of Debbie Ryan, and I was like, I hate it here. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um. Well, give me a little drum roll, and I'll tell you who won. It was Ryan, right? <laughs> yeah, Ryan. Can I not have a moment? I'm sorry. I'm wow. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, you know what? No, no, no. So, keep it in. Keep yeah, it in. Keep it in. I, That's okay. She's so mad that she didn't win because she's the most competitive. I could. Uh, my first time winning a 20 whatever game ever. Yeah. And she's like, yeah. 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 Thanks, everybody. I, I want to give you your moment. Take your flowers. Take your flowers. I just was definitely mentally tracking it in my brain. Of, of course she was. But, but let's go so back. That just, just so that nobody could cheat. Yep. So nobody could miss Tally. She was like, I got it. No, it's fine. I know you won. <laughs> and you did it fair and square because Thank I agree. You. Thank you. So, you did it on my birthday. Ryan. And you, you did, did it at my birthday, birthday dinner. <laughs> so the winner of this game is... Ryan Christina. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. She's um, our I would like to queen. thank not only God, but Jesus <laughs> for this award. Amazing. Oh, oh, that was great. Well, thank I, you. I knew that this episode would be amazing, and we came in here and made history today, and that's what this is, that's you what guys. This is. <laughs> and, wow. Actually, Paloma, that's not what happened. <gasps> Oh, all of them. I'm trying to think of like, what, what else can I do? Like, quickly, quickly. I'm like, death, death to all of them. <laughs> <laughs> to the bone, yeah, to, to the bone. <laughs> <laughs> well, while we're celebrating me, let's also do a little Woo Girl Minute. Yes. Okay, this Woo Girl Minute is from Ella. Ella says, Woo Girl Moment, I'm applying for a summer internship two states away from home, and I'm excited, not nervous. I've dealt with codependency with my mother, so this is a huge step. I'm a sophomore in college, and I cannot wait to unlearn even more of my bringing up through the gift that is therapy. I'm really proud of myself for this. Woo! Woo! We're so proud of you. Truly. Listen, sometimes you got to get away from the nest. And that's like the best thing that could happen to you. That's that, for me. It's tough. Like it's hard, unlearning though. and yeah. relearning and having to parent yourself as you grow up. And that's oh, kind of yeah. like 
the yeah. stage we're still in, like still learning oh, to yeah, parent yourself. Definitely. So that's so beautiful that you're doing that. Yeah. 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 Excited for you and mm-hmm. what this next chapter holds. And yes. It seems like you are just going to thrive. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, uh, unless anyone has a last pop culture reference they want to throw in, I think this is where we end. I'm tired, Grandpa. Oh, yeah. Tune in, man. Do the pee. Do the pee. Do the Another one. Yeah, it was meant Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams. Oh. Oh. She really is the backbone of TikTok. She, she is. is. Let us know your favorite pop culture references down in the comments. Uh, also, let us know how you scored on the game. Did you know any before us? Were there any that you hadn't heard? And uh, we will see you next week with another new episode. Bye. Please note that this episode may contain paid endorsements and advertisements for products and services. Individuals on the show may have a direct or indirect financial interest in products or services referred to in this episode.